Hi guys, welcome to my video. My name is Titi Wahyuni. I am a portrait and fashion photographer based in the Netherlands. Uh, you can find me on www.titiwahyuni.com and you can also check out my work on my Instagram. Uh, the link is down below. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create beautiful snow effect with Photoshop. So uh, this image I took last year also at this time of the year but this time we don't have snow yet so I feel like making snow effect uh, with Photoshop. So in this video you're going to, so to see the steps how I do it. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document for the brush by clicking file, new and then let's say it's 500 pixel and 500 pixel as well so let's say snow um, yeah for the snow document okay so you have this and then what i'm going to create i'm going to create a new brush by using marquee tool and then create a circle and by hitting save delete then i'm going to change to fill it with the black right okay then I have a circle a black circle here and then the next one another one but smaller so I'm not going to create only one brush but it's two and this it needs to be far apart just to create the, the effect of the snow just the same hitting save delete and then content black then it's far apart just to create the uh, the snow less fake so it's more dynamic more random so it will look more natural okay so the next one I'm going to edit and define brush preset so I'm going to make it as my brush let's say snow flake snow flake brush right okay so we have the brush now and we go back to the image and I'm going to create a new layer so let's get the brush and then go down to the brush the, on the bottom on the very bottom here this is the brush that I just create the snow snowflake brush let's just click and then it will be like this but it's it doesn't resemble the snow yet so um, what I'm going to do is set the brush and that in order to get the snow effect more okay you get the brush preset and then go to the shape dynamic and then put the size jitter up so it will create random more random now and then the diameter no angle jitter it's creating more chaotic chaotic and random and put it up and then the roundness you know mostly it looks like round like snow but let's make it more a bit so let's say it's up and the roundness it's like this so it's more oval let's say 60 okay now you see some more randomness in the snow and then we go to the scattering and then scattering that's it's even more it's, it's far apart now the snow it's not close to each other let's go up and then count it there and then now it's 
it gets more more and more into like snow it's run and then go to transfer and then capacity jitter up and then flow jitter a bit okay i think we're done now and then go back here and let's create a new layer so the thing is when the snow falls you you will see like always around here like on top of the on top of the head you will see you know, on top of the shoulders and here these are places where the snow fall also also you will see on the trees here around here and you know to make it more natural you have to put some snow here as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same brass that I just created but a very tiny pieces of snow so by clicking here it's uh, you it's not possible but let's make it you know the snow powder around here around here or here or make it a little bigger so that you will see Okay, you can make it bigger if you want. I think it's okay. Let's go back to some of the steps. The next thing when you create snow is you need to think about making like different layers. The first layers will be like the smallest snow uh, that will be like the farthest, the farther away from the camera. The small, the, the farther away the camera from the camera, the smaller the snow is, and the closer to the camera, the bigger the snow is. So um, I'm going to make a bunch of layers say to one till seven six or seven and each layer has a different size of snow from the smallest one till the biggest one so um, yeah let's uh, make a new layer and then this will be the smallest snow so let's say from the smallest one so this is uh, I think it's so small. Let's see this one. Let's make it full around here. Okay. And the next one is for the bigger snow. Next layer, percussion. Oh, 
All right. So, and the next step is, so you see snow here, but you will see it still, you know, the soft as still look fake, still so, so sharp the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur everything uh, with the with the blur, the Gaussian blur, one by one, starting from the smallest one. So I'm going to to set it off, and then so the first layer it's from the close, so you don't have to do anything. So this one you need to use to use the Gaussian blur. To blur it out so it's the farthest away so but the background it's already is so uh, out of focus so it's okay to to so it doesn't have to be blurry For this one, you know, I would like to make, um, for this one I'm going to use the motion blur, it's to create, you know, like the snow is exactly falling, so well, I'm going to use this one and let's say, here we go, so you will still see the movement, the falling movement of the snow. And, but you will still see the the sharp, still so sharp. So what you can do is using the blur again, the custom blur, and blur it out. Right, and I guess this I need to do the same with this layer as well. So I think it's done now and you have snowfall. Right. Okay, so let's see the difference, the before and after. I'm going to create a group of the snowfall. Okay, before and after. Before and after, before and after, before and after. You can always change the position of the snow. You can always move it around like this or like this. And depending on what you want. I think I like it like this. Or you can always erase some snow using the eraser, the brush. So you can always erase it down like this. You find something a bit distracting, or it's up to you. Like you don't want too much snow on the object, so you can always use use this eraser brush and erase some of the unwanted snow right 
here as well if you think this one is too distracting you can always get rid of it so now that we're done with the snow effect I'm going to change the tone into more bluish a little bit you know because normally you have orange for summer or other season and then now you have blue for winter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an adjustment layer and the curves and the red get the red slightly down so you get now it's a little bluish and then after that the blue one slightly up not too much yep so you get this chilly and cold winter tone all right now we get the tone as well and the blue it's perfect now you have this wintery feeling Well, I think it's done. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, if you like my tutorials, if you want to, to learn more about Photoshop and retouching on photography, please subscribe on my channel or visit my Instagram. Alright guys, thank you very much and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye and have a nice day.